cookie swirl? See? <laughs> Chocolatey chippy cookie fans. Today we are gonna be making some Barbie clothes. Ooh, so all of these Barbie dolls that you see right here are super duper big Shopkin fans just like me. <laughs> so we are gonna be making some Barbie clothes today out of oh, oh, some Shopkin socks. So I found these itty bitty little Shopkin socks and I thought it would be super duper fun to turn them into cute adorable outfits for Barbie. So these are just real simple little no-show Shopkin socks. Whoop. Woo! So it looks like today we can make yes a kooky kooky outfit. We got lippy lips, apple blossom, pop 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 popcorn, and delish donut. All right, so let's start with the kooky cookie sock. So we can make a kooky cookie tank top. All you have to do is just take your sock and just snip off the bottom of the sock here. Now, of course, for my younger cookie fans with any crafting video, safety first. Always have a parent help you. Safety first. Just cut the tip of the sock off, whoop, just like that. Let's take my doll here and see exactly how it's gonna fit. Okay, we can see just how it's kind of fitting the doll right here, but it's got a little bit of this extra little heel right here in the back. So I'm actually going to just cut this heel off while on the doll. So just like this, do, 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 do. So now we've got this open back. Now that I have that little hole cut, I'm just actually going to cut the top of this sock off. So just cutting the pink part off. There we go. Now we have like a really weird looking tube piece. So now I have it on my doll. Now I'm gonna take a needle threaded with some blue string. Now, of course, again, for my younger cookie fans, have an adult help you. Kind of tighten the top how I want it to look on Barbie. And I'm just going to take my string and close this little open gap. So easy. Do, do, do. Then now I'm gonna sew around the whole entire top of the shirt. Then I'm gonna use the scraps from the heel and I am actually going to cut around the heel a little bit. Go around and around and around. Make a little tiny sleeve now to put right on the tank top and just sew it onto the shirt. Do, 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 do. And loop it around and just sew it to the back now. Do, 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 do. Okay, her kooky kooky shirt looks amazing. Now let's get her a coordinating skirt. So to make a skirt, I'm actually gonna just use a regular sock for that. So I'm just going to fit Barbie into the sock just like this. Uh-huh, and yep, you guessed it. I am going to just cut the sock down the back. Whoop, and of course cut the tip of the sock so her feet can stick out. Do, 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 do. Now, of course, you can adjust the sock just how long or short you want to make it. Cut the dress all the way down in the back. Now flip it inside out. And then, of course, just sew it up in the back. So here is how the skirt now looks now that I have sewn it all together. So now we're just going to take the skirt, flip it right side out, and ta-da! Now this Barbie has the coolest Shopkins kooky cookie outfit. So she looks totally, totally kooky cookie styling, and you can see just how it is sewn in the back. Totally, totally cool. All right, now let's do a delish donut shirt. I'm gonna clip the toe off. Do, 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 do. Put it on my Barbie to see exactly how I want it to look. Take the little extra that's in the back right here at the heel and just clip it off. Do, 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 do. Whoop. Now I'm gonna sew this part together. Just flip it inside out. Sometimes flipping it inside out just makes it a little easier to work with and I'm just gonna sew across. Now I'm gonna take my little heel pieces that I had cut from the bottom and from the heel of the dress. I'm gonna take them just like this, so it's all stretched out hot dog ways and folded hamburger ways, and sew right here at the tips. Flip these back over, and now we have teeny tiny little sleeves that we can now put on the shirt. And now I'm just going to attach these sleeves to the top of the Shopkins top. So I'm just gonna take it off and pinch where I want it to go and start to sew. Do, 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 do. All right, her shirt looks really good. Now to make her some bottoms, I'm gonna use this hot pink sock. And I love this one because it's got like this little pom-pom on it, which I'm gonna actually clip off. Whoop. How cute would that pom-pom be like on her shoulder? It looks like a donut hole. Okay, now using this pink sock. So now we're gonna make an adorable little skirt for Barbie to go with her delish donut shirt. So I'm gonna put her into the sock and I'm going to cut it where I want her waist to be. I'm gonna cut about right here, cut across. So now I have my open fabric. Sew the back by flipping it inside out. So pretty sides together. 
Okay, so now look at this adorable, cute little skirt that I've made for Barbie. So she's got her dealish donut shirt on. She's got this cute little pom-pom right on her sleeve. Okay, these dolls are totally styling in their Shopkins shirts. Now let's make something with the lippy lips, little Shopkins. I'm gonna cut the toe tip. So now I'm just gonna put it on my Barbie like that. We can do like an around the neck type of shirt. I'm just gonna take my shirt like this, do a little snip on the side, cut the other side, whoop, just a little bit. And right at the top where the band is, I'm just gonna snip it a little bit. There we go. And now I can take my dress, cut a little bit on the back of the band. Now I have pieces that can go around her neck. And of course I'm gonna cut the extra off of her back. Just kind of do it in a V shape. So one right here and the other side, a little bit. Now I'm gonna use some purple string, fold it inside out, fold the pieces down by the neck. That way it has a cleaner edge. And I'm just gonna start sewing. And then of course sew right down the back. And then of course close up the neck area. But you wanna make sure that you leave enough room to pull it over her head. It would be best if I had a snap or some Velcro. That way I can undo the neck part, but I don't have any, so I just have to make sure it's still stretchy enough to go over her head. Ah, this shirt looks amazing! Now we're gonna make her a skirt, and I just have a regular little stretchy sock. So same thing, I'm just gonna cut off the bottom here. Do, 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 do. Put the skirt on my doll, and if it's a little bit too big, yep, I'll just cut it and fit it. Whoop. You sew this skirt together, we'll make a little pencil skirt. And I can just kind of cut it a little bit and make sure it's a nice rectangle shape. This looks pretty good. And of course, pretty sides together. So now my sock would be inside out. Just take it and sew it all together. Look at how amazing she looks with her lippy lip shirt on and her new pencil skirt. Now let's make something with this apple blossom. So for this cool girl right here, we'll create an apple blossom skirt. So I'm just going to cut the little foot off the bottom. Do, 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 do. Super duper easy, just slide the skirt on like that. And yep, you got it, cut this excess off. A little snip like this and cut it straight down the middle. Now, line up the skirt by putting those pretty sides together, and sew. Ooh, the skirt is just too cute for words. Okay, now we're gonna make her a top out of this neon yellowy green sock. So always start out by cutting the tips off, and of course, always going to cut the back and fit it to the doll. Do, 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 do. Okay, totally too cute for words. She looks amazing. I am loving this apple blossom skirt. All right, the last Shopkin sock is popcorn. Cut the tip. But this time we're gonna do a one shoulder for her. So right where I want her arm to pop out, I am just going to cut it. And then in the back, go ahead and take the extra and cut it away. And then all of this extra, we are just going to sew, sew, sew. Now for her, I'm gonna make some pants. So I just have my sock right here on her. And you can kind of see exactly where the pants will go whenever you kind of have her go like this with her legs. So I'm just going to take my scissors and just cut a V shape on the pants. One side and the other, just making a V shape. And can cut them a little bit higher once they're off the doll. Now I'm gonna turn them inside out and each leg I am going to sew together just as if it were pants, just like that. Do, 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 do. So after sewing them, now we can see how they're kind of gonna fit, but what are we gonna do about this booty? Cause this right here is the heel of the sock. Yep, that's right, we're gonna cut it out. So I'm gonna take my scissors and cut. 
Woo! And now sew these pants right back up. So here she is! Barbie with her one shoulder top that of course you can actually put on her shoulder like that and her new pants! Well there you go cookie fans! That is five different outfits made with Shopkin socks! I totally hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you try out this super duper easy easy craft! Remember to stock up on nothing but happiness! Click that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video! Bye cookie fans! Alright cookie fans, how well were you paying attention to the video? Which one of these girls is wearing the kooky cookie Shopkin shirt? Do you remember? Is girl one, two, three, four, or five? Bye, cookie fans! <laughs>